Greetings, readers and antagonists. My name is Karen. I'm the new community manager of Mercury Steam, and today I'm going to talk about the first official patch for Raiders of the Broken Planet. Before I begin, we want you to know that the economy of Raiders of the Broken Planet is going to change in order to balance it, having in mind the different kinds of players we have. As you know, the players who got the free prologue couldn't interact with Raiders of the Broken Planet's reward system. This is changing now. From this moment, anyone will be able to use the gold, the faction points, and the character points earned during the matches played in the free prologue to unlock new characters, build weapons from blueprints found in the battlefield, unlock character and faction cards, discover new lore about Raiders of the Broken Planet. But that's not the only advantage, because we will have access to exclusive characters that belong to the Alien Myths campaign like Mika, Dr. Kuzman, or Ginubra. How? Again, using the gold earned at the free prologue to unlock them. Some useful information. If you haven't tried our sniper Shay, you'll like to know that you could get her if you buy the campaign Alien Myths, which brings four missions full of action and adrenaline. How do all these changes affect players who already purchased the Alien Myths campaign or the Founders Pack, the most complete version of Raiders of the Broken Planet? They will find that their games will turn more competitive, challenging and fun, with more and better equipped players who have a wider selection of characters at their disposal. This is just the first of many changes that Mercury's team will be introducing in the game in the next few weeks. We will keep you updated and see you on the Broken Planet. Nos vemos en el planeta roto.